Howdy, o doers, welcome back. Now today we're gonna to be going over a two-step flow for outgoing shipments using batch picking. So you're probably asking yourself, what's two-step delivery? Great question. Now with two-step delivery, you have a team of runners who pick the stock and then they drop it off at an output location where it will then get picked up to deliver to the customer. But despite what you may have heard, packing the products in boxes does not happen here. That would be three-step delivery, which we actually cover in the next video. So stay tuned for that, o doers. Anyway, now that you know the gist, let me show you how two-step delivery with batch picking is done in Odoo. Come on. All right, let's kick things off on our inventory app dashboard. Now to use two-step delivery, we have to enable some features first. So we're actually gonna need to go to the configuration menu and settings. All right, perfect. Now here we're gonna need to confirm that we've enabled three features. First, batch transfers. Make sure it's checked off, which happens to be our picking method for delivery. You don't need batch transfers for two-step delivery, but it's useful for big warehouses that handle a lot of orders like here at Stealthy Wood. Now for other features, we're gonna need to scroll down over here to the warehouse heading. Don't forget that these are very easy to find. Great, here we are. Now here we'll find storage locations and multi-step routes. Both should be enabled already, perfect. Now let's actually focus on our warehouse configurations. Now for that, we're actually gonna click on configuration over here and select warehouses. We're gonna pick our Stealthy Wood one. Now inside of the outgoing shipments over here, we'll make sure that send goods in output and then deliver two steps is chosen. That means we have a dedicated team that brings the goods from our storage to output location and another team moves those same products onto the shipping trucks. That sounds easy, right? Speaking of that, let's talk about where our products are stored in Odoo. To get there, we're actually gonna select configuration once again and locations, a whole bunch of red ones over here. Now, because we set outgoing shipments to be done in two steps, the output location right here, WH output, is automatically created for us. You know, because, thanks Odoo. Now you'll also notice that I also have the following storage locations. We have fridge A and fridge F over here. Now fridge A is where I store my meat and dairy. Fridge F is where I store my fruits and shelf one over there, which where my wood panels and small furniture are kept. Now, without defined locations, our warehouse guy, Steve, would have to aimlessly search the warehouse for all of the products. But at Stealthy Wood, Steve knows exactly which products he needs to fulfill orders and where to find them, thanks to our automatically generated pickings list. Okay, with all of this setup done, I think it's time for me to show you how easy it is to get things done using Odoo's two-step delivery. So let's start that process by creating our sales order. Now, for that, we're gonna open up the sales app, select new up at the top, we're gonna pick our VIP customer who's addicted to furniture deco attic. Now they're being shown an exclusive tour of Stealthy Woods interior design showrooms. And we happen to be selling them our special handmade chart cuttery board, which is now our product. Once that we're done there, we can actually confirm this and turn it into a sales order. Now that makes the delivery smart button appear with not one, but two actions to check out. So let's click on that delivery smart button. Okay, so immediately we have two things that we need to do in order to send deco attic their order. One is a pick operation and one is a delivery operation. Now I could click into this pick operation that we have right there and validate it using the validate button, but I'm role playing as the picking team right now. That team needs to process multiple pickings at once, not just the ones for the VIP customer that we have here. So let's remember our sales order from this source document field right there. And then we're gonna head over to our favorite app inventory. So on the inventory overview, the picking team needs to just pay attention to this pick operation right there. Now there are two to process, which means that there are two tasks the picking team needs to handle. There happens to be two waiting as well for the delivery orders for the delivery team to handle once that our team completes their pickings. So I'm gonna click on the two to process button right there. Now at doers, do you all remember the sales order number from earlier? Of course you do. Happens to be that one from Deco Addict right there. This is the picking we have to handle for our VIP customer. But aside from our high priority tasks, we're actually gonna help out the team by picking up another task that we have right there for Happy Farm. Now up next, we're actually gonna select the actions gear and we're gonna select add to batch right there and then confirm it. Now by creating a batch, we can pick items for two orders at once to save time. Now with the batch created, and we can actually see that over here with the batch transfer field right there. Once that we're all done, we can basically go into either one of these. So let's just go into the deco addict one. And now we select our batch smart button up at the top. And look at that, we're taking over here. 
Now inside of the details operations tab, we find the charcuterie board that Deco Addict had ordered with the exact storage location in the from field over here. So basically we need to move the charcuterie board from fridge F over to output that we have over here. And along the way, we're also gonna pick up the bunch of grapes from fridge A that we have that I just hovered again and move them also to output. Now I can also print this picking operations list to tell my teammates where to find all of these products by accessing the gear icon of over here. And also once again, going to batch transfer. Okay, now that we know where we gotta go, let's speed run this picking, shall we? Okay, so here's what our speed run will look like as a member of the picking team who happens to start at the output location. I'm gonna power walk all the way to the fridge F, the from location and take the product out of the refrigerator. And even though I move faster than my grandparents on a morning mall walk, fulfilling orders becomes time consuming when constantly walking back and forth between the fridges and the output location. Now this is where batch pickings come into play. While inside of the storage area, I can pick from multiple orders from anywhere before returning to the output location. For example, in the batch, Odu tells me to get the 10 grapes at fridge A before returning to the output location. This saves us a ton of time. Regardless of my path, I'm done with my picking now. I told you it's pretty speedy, right? Now that we're done, I think it's time for us to hit that validate button right there and voila, we're done. Yay me. Now with the pick operation done, the delivery operation is now available. So let's select overview from the top header over here. And would you just look at that, oh doers. We'll now see that if we look over to the delivery orders card, we have two to process over here. Now using our magical memory, I think it's time for us to select a delivery order from that sales order number that we memorized earlier. Now perfect right there. On the delivery order, we see the product is nicely prepared and happens to be waiting for us at the output location, right there under the source location. Now at this point, I'll call my employee Jim to deliver it to Deco Addict and we're good to go. Now once Jim arrives, I can actually click on validate right there. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. The snack has officially been sent out to our hungry VIP customer. And there you have it, Odoers. We just saw how multiple warehouse teams work together to pick and deliver products using two-step shipments. See you in the next video. Go grab a snack. And if no one's told you this today, honestly, you're doing great.